Hey guys, welcome to Mean Inspiration. I have my little munchkin back. This is not the reboot of the girl female reboot of twins. <laughs> She's Danny DeVito. I'm Arnold. Um, it, this is me inspiration. Um, it is me, Annie Letterman. It your smells leader. in here. Tell them what it smells like. It smells like salmon because Pussy. they. That's so vile to say. Uh. It smells like salmon. You had to choose a smelly dinner before I came. We had to eat. It was that or Rogan's elk meat. And I feel like elk meat would make you feel more uncomfortable. I don't think elk meat would smell as much as salmon. I honestly thought about it. And I know you're a vegetarian and I know that you will eat sushi sometimes. So I thought the salmon will be a better smell. for. I literally did think about you. And then I felt this is codependent and I shouldn't even give a shit. And I should just live my life. And you're lucky to be here, bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad you have all that confidence. <laughs> all those breathing techniques have really worked. Yes, my my. To you not work. being considerate for your sensitive guest. Well, I'm glad you said sensitive <laughs> and guest, which means you can leave at any time. Ma'am, if you don't, sir, if you don't mind, <laughs> sir, if you could see yourself out. <laughs> Um, well, we just did, we did an Esther Club. We yeah, we did. just recorded an episode of Esther Club. Annie was on it. She made it very funny. Go watch back. Esther made it very, <laughs> she got to the segments. Let's just say that. It's all segments. No content. It's pretty impressive. Segments are content. You were like, and the next segment, during a segment, she'd go, in the next segment, I'm going to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> announcements i'll give you that those are not content segments are content now tell us the definition of an announcement an announcement is an alert it is something that you need to know about but it's not really for your entertainment it's for your information segments are for your entertainment okay so esther's podcast is for your information <laughs> it's for your entertainment <laughs> Um, but while we say that, I do have an announcement to make. Subscribe or we'll come find you. And I'll comment. You. Subscribe, comment, give us some love. If you like this duo, show us. Let's get that algorithm up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like being abusive <laughs> to anyone but you, not yeah. the fans. <laughs> Even though you are a fan. <laughs> Esther, we keep trying to decide what Esther is. And it's like, she's like, I don't really like doing stand up as much as I like watching comedy, but then she doesn't really like watching stand up. So we realize she's just a podcast fan. I just like to hang out with com female comedians and pretty people, pretty people. Yeah, she doesn't even care. We, we were talking about this other day. She's not starstruck by anyone. She's I just, just wanna, beauty struck. I want to feel like I'm with like cool, the cool girls. So sad. I know something. Something is mama, fucked up. What'd you do, mama? <laughs> Everybody ruined me. There Even is dog there's a dog a barking. Dog barked immediately when he said that. All right, I have to do my one segment. It's, oh my god! I have one segment. It's now called she has a segment all of a sudden. It's because she got bit by the Esther Club bug, and she wants a segment. I got there probably are bugs from <laughs> when I was there. I kind of cleaned up for you. I mean, that's a little bit I mean, messy. who cares? It smells horrible in here. I like it smells like a sa garlic and salmon dish. It doesn't smell horrible. But I don't want to smell that right now. Yeah, but you don't have this is what your master has a smell issue. She just decides she doesn't want to smell a thing right now. It's like the world just <laughs> smells like what it smells like. We're in a by the way, California is burning to the ground. <laughs> It's a break from smelling just open fires. All right. So for our segment, surprise sponsor. This is a very real sponsor. It's a surprise, but this is the realest sponsor ever. Okay. Hey, folks, are you tired of gonna of going? Oh, God, it's your handwriting so bad. Hey, folks, are you tired of going out with friends and then you get an itchy burning sensation right between your cheeks? Does your chocolate hole always want to be scratched at the most inconvenient of times? Oh, my God. Well, I have the solution. It's called Joanne's Chocolate Hole Wipes. Just use the chocolate hole wipes right when you wake up in the morning and you will never have an unexpected itch ever again. Just remember to use it right when you wake up or it won't work. Use promo code BROWN to get a free wipe after your first purchase. You only get one single wipe for me <laughs> and actually they don't mean the wipe they mean the adjective wipe someone comes and wipes you so that's good joanne is really coming through she has fabric she has a uh 
splooge remover, and she also ha- now has a butthole de burner. This is great. This is a real product. Esther, what do you think about Joanne's? Look, I love a wipe. I love a wipe. Really? It doesn't seem like <laughs> your body takes. <laughs> <laughs> takes to them. I will wipe over a shower. I will. I'll definitely do wiping. Okay, I love well, wiping. You heard it here, guys, first. <laughs> Esther doesn't like certain smells, but also chooses a wipe over a shower. <laughs> The one smell she can control herself. <laughs> you look so pretty. Your the this matches your eyes. I feel that tonight I look. I just look weathered. Like I have an idea of what you look like and why you look this way. What? I don't think you look weathered. You look beautiful, but you are wearing. It's a little bit. It's almost like you're copying Olivia Munn's like. What? She was, listen, she was wearing those pants, the cargo pants. Yeah. This is like if you were wearing cargo pants with us, that would make sense. Not these sweatpants. Oh, my God. You bitch. You're I, copying Olivia Munn. I'm, first of all, this is Whitney Cummings sweatshirt. You're Olivia Munchkin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, I'm not copying her. What? I mean, I would. I know. What's wrong with that? Um, <laughs> I would if I could. Should I take it off so I, I look oh, a little... Oh, God. What do you have underneath? A oh, skims that's cute. tank top. Shall Are I... you interested in showing your skims? <laughs> it's up to you. This looks comfy, but it is... I Did you wear this because you were so cold the last time? Yeah. You dressed in your winter wear? But I was going to say... I was thinking about how last time I was here, you were trying to dry me out with the cold air. Oh, I thought you were going to say with sweet nothings in your ear. Dry you up. There's no way I can see in the viewfinder that it's only waist up. There's no way it's secretly getting below there, is there? Because no I, I have a like. Your bulge isn't like. <laughs> <laughs> your bush isn't poking through. <laughs> Wait, by the way. Last night, did I? Sh- I showed you the underwear I was wearing. <laughs> can okay, I yes, tell. tell. No, you tell. Annie, all of a sudden. First of all, we're hanging out at Whitney's gym. It's me, Whitney Cummings, Olivia Munn, and this fucking... We got fucking, a text from Whitney. And this... Fu- oh, yeah. Whitney's like, Munn is coming over to work out. Get in your cars if you want to get here. <laughs> She's like, do you want to come? And I, me, I'm... Always, my... The thrill of my life is when someone says, come over now, bye. Like, Esther's waiting in her car <laughs> for a call that Olivia Munn's coming to Whitney's It's house. not about... It's literally just about being invited to Whitney's house. It doesn't matter who else is there. Although I prefer a smaller group. I get too overwhelmed in large groups, but... She's never had a bad person over either. That's true. She curates correctly. That's true. There's okay, so we go there. It's me, it's the four of us. We're like the new sex in the city. We're hanging out, we're gabbing, we're chatting. Whitney's working out. I'm like, we're watching her, honestly. <laughs> Whitney worked out so hard. We all like, we all did like a squat or two. Like when I came in, Esther was stretching. And- Whitney was working out. I'm just trying to like, every time Whitney looks away, I try mouthing to Olivia or Annie, like ask her to order food. <laughs> she does it every time. <laughs> like literally I keep going like, I'm hungry. And like half the time they don't know what I'm, they can't tell. Anyways, so I'm trying to get food ordered. I'm trying to sidebar with Annie. They won't let us sidebar. We're, but the, we're all gabbing. We're getting in, in the heat of the conversation. And By the way, Whitney furiously working out the entire was time. Was this in the sauna or the gym when you did this? The sauna. Oh, and then we go in the sauna, which Annie and, Annie and I go up to turn the sauna on. Annie, we turned it on. Annie leaves the sauna door open. No, I closed it. It did open. I didn't close it hard enough, but I didn't leave it open. I wasn't like <laughs> I get blamed. <laughs> well, yeah, because she asked me who did it. <laughs> That's Esther. And I said, look, I may be the puny loser, but I'm not the wild idiot. And I didn't leave the fucking <laughs> sauna door open. So anyways, we're in the sauna and we do bra and underwear in the sauna. Although Olivia. No, we usually do swimsuits. But for some reason, this time we were forced to wear. I, but I. I usually do bra. I underwear. wore the underwear that I was like, we're going to be wearing swimsuits. <laughs> like I was going to have to Anyways, bust this underwear out. Yeah, that is true. Because Annie like catches my eye, snaps my attention and points down to her lacy thong that looks like something you bought at Rave at like an indoor mall in <laughs> middle school. It's and it looks like it's still it's like that old, like it's wiry. Well, you somehow. know how when you reach down to like lift up your your lace underwear you just like kind of will pull holes like it's just so many i like, don't have large lace holes. underwear i have i wear the same target underwear it's not men's <laughs> it's boxer briefs <laughs> it's not lace it's like wait do you solid. only have red underwear just in case <laughs> <laughs> i mean 
was so embarrassed. I just, it was in, like my under, I was wearing an embarrassing She was wearing set a of horrible underwear. middle school, your first thong underwear. Like, and she points over, directs my eyes to her fucking nasty thong that's like, <laughs> looks like looks like it's a mix between the color yellow and brown Ooh, and black. It's <laughs> crazy. It's colorblind. And she's pointing to a hole in the lace right on the top area on the front of it. And her fucking pubes are sticking out. <laughs> Why did you say like the top? Like they weren't that high. <laughs> I can't believe that's the story you wanted me to share on your podcast. I mean, I guess I didn't mean I didn't know you were going to go have light pubes. You have really dark. <laughs> I thought everyone had dark pubes. No, I trim. I like trim mine. <laughs> they look lighter when you. Trim. <laughs> Let's change the subject. This is disgusting. You're disgusting. It also answers about half of the uh, questions <laughs> for the Q and A. My fucking followers. <gasps> oh, guys, I'm gonna enjoy some hibiscus herbal tea from. Caveman Coffee, my boy Tate, hit them up. Their stuff is so good. Does that have coffee in it? No, there's no caffeine. It's just this is this okay. is the nighttime one. It says cold brew. No, but they have cold brew. Well, cold it's cold brew, herbal brewed. tea. Do you want to taste it? You kind have to have of. a fake reaction if you don't like it, though. But you touch this area with your dirty paw. Okay, then you no, can't. No, I want to try it. I like it. I like She's got lot. the part. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like it a lot. It's interesting, right? It's like a weird flavor. It's um, it is sparkling. It tastes iced sweet. Tea. It's really good. Sparkling iced tea is like a thing. I want that. It's a totally weird new experience. But check it out. Their stuff's so good. They have enough. A lot of new stuff. What's their website? Their website is. They're not actually paying me, so I'm not actually going to say that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's Caveman Coffee Co. And then they're at Caveman Coffee Co. online too. Hashtag Pirate Life. Tate's the best. I don't know if you guys know him, but he did help me get sober. And he's great. Wow. Have you met Tate? I think I met him. He was with us one night when you and I were hanging out. Yeah, at the he's the best. Store. Yeah. One time. Okay. I'm not going to say who it is, but it's the one guy I dated before the one. Okay. Okay. And I was at the comedy store and we were hitting it off. You were there that night, actually. This was the night you met Tate. Yes. We were at the comedy store and I was like flirting with this new guy. And um, Tate, my friend, we were supposed to go out to dinner to this expensive like sushi restaurant next door. He's he was like, it's my treat. Come on it. So this. Oh, I didn't know he had said it was my treat. I would have thrown my plastic water bottle away to get in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were going to come in. So we all were going to go. But it was he was just going to treat me. Originally, it was just he was taking me out to dinner and we were going to talk and hang out. It was the restaurant, the restaurant next to the comedy store. Yes. Katana. It's like expensive Japanese it's sushi. It's incredibly expensive. It's also a nightclub. It's very loud. It's a it's not a good place to go they wouldn't let us in they wouldn't let me in because i was holding a free plastic bottle of water that i took from the comedy store and she and i refused to throw it away to go in not because of the plastic but because of the free part <laughs> <laughs> she can't get rid of her free but stuff months later i did get a meal there because whitney invited me and she did buy me a nice meal i'm really got jealous i've never had a real jealous moment but that's... whitney and i were starting to kind of slowly Date. bond <laughs> and i i was dating for me on my end in the like end of december right actually come to think of it right before my mental breakdown <laughs> no that was caused by christmas and stuff anyways christmas santa but um so then this guy so esther had to leave and then this other guy who kind of like came along because we were flirting we all go in and we're talking and I'm trying to kind of like manage the fact that I'm sort of on a first date with a guy randomly that I didn't realize I was going to be on. And I'm supposed to be having this friend date with oh, my friend Tate. That's so, by the way, can I, can we just pause for yeah. a second? Like, it's so weird when you're, ha you're out hanging at like a public vicinity, like something like the comedy store where there's multiple people, you know, and you like are in one hang and then another person joins the hang and it just like changes the vibe up and it's yeah. not the intended hang. I, I don't like that. I want the intended hang to stay in, in as it was intended. My dream is different than yours. My dream is when things, when the world's meld, it creates a new 
better experience. But I, that's what you can't happens. control that. That is me, you, and Whitney is a better experience. Yeah. Since. And honestly, everyone that Whitney has brought in has been so fun. And yeah. it's always and been, Olivia. Yeah. Everyone's been a fun addition. It's crazy. It's been so I, I Whitney's taste in friends is delightful. But anyway. I wonder what her formula is. But by the way, you know you and I are like the underlings who are gonna be used our bodies for experiments. There's and stuff. something's gonna happen. She's already <laughs> stabbed us and poked us and ready. I mean she left diamonds in our ears after she stabbed them, but <laughs> I'm scared. Do you think these are tracking devices? <laughs> I, I fucking hope so. <laughs> um, but so, um, so we go on this, like, I go on this, like, weird, supposed to be a friend dinner. And then it's also this date thing. And then at the end, Tate goes to pay. Right? Like, just to be I'm nice. I'm listening. The most tense part of right? the night. Now we're really in the talking other drama. The guy goes, oh, okay, great. <laughs> and just he paid for all of us. And then he got into his Tesla and drove off with a free, like this meal was like, like Wagyu was bought. Is that what it's called? Really? Yeah, it was expensive. Well, did, he, did he really offer to pay, Tate? They both did the thing at the end, but you're supposed to fight it. I don't know what you're supposed to do. No, 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 no. When you jumped on board of the, <laughs> like it's so <laughs> Will you tell about the dollar jar? Oh, Whitney has made it so that every time Esther complains, she has to put a dollar in a jar. And, and we are rich. <laughs> we are no, rich. I'm just picturing a scenario where I accidentally complain. Because I, by the way, did not complain the rest of the night. I'm, but there's she just, honed in on your cheapness. If I if if I do complain and she does get a jar for me and a dollar, I'm gonna have a breakdown. I think it should be a fanny pack instead of a jar, so it can go with you everywhere. Because your complaining is not going to be in one room in the house. That was a complaint. I was scared because she's having construction, and I'm like, there's, it was it was like prickly there's all on the this floor. Debris. She goes, everyone will be fine except Esther. I'm worried about. <laughs> it's like her feet are littler than ours. They're not. There's less space to cover. But it was crazy. We had to like unzip something to get in. It was like they but had like hazmat the we, place. Like, yeah, we zipped through a construction site. And there plastic. was just stuff all over the floor. Whitney probably has like, she probably got like. She's just so tough. She can soul just handle. Implant. Her, <laughs> <laughs> she has something going on in her feet that keeps it from her. <laughs> A Whitney's superhuman. Per- Watching her work out was a was an experience. I hated every I, second I realized of it. I never worked out. <laughs> I was like, wow, I've really spent a lot of time not working out in the gym. But okay. that is definitely a goal to have a home gym for you, Esther. No. <laughs> <laughs> not a goal. What else happened this week? Oh, also, by the way, we're COVID tested. We're obviously very close. So Yeah. We're we're at this point, I feel like we're kind of potting together. I've been asking you every day your daily moves. I've been tracking you. Isn't she so scary? But can we <laughs> She's a scary Can person. we officially be in a pod and where we yeah. have to report to each Sure. We already are we not already? We are, but I'm making it official out okay. loud. But you know what that is in COVID a pod? Yeah, where you just you know the first other people's every move, so you. Well, can... I'm. She's creepy. By the way, I want to just give you credit. You've really, you've gotten really far with this move. <laughs> Esther started doing this move about three months ago. It was disgusting when it started. It's disgusting now, but it's catching on. Will you explain the origin story? I don't remember it. Was it on? It was when we were on a Facetime with John. Yeah, when and I, I said. I was like, you guys are making me laugh so hard, but we're not in person, so I can't really convey it to you by like punching you and hitting you. So I'm just going to, every time you make me laugh really hard and say something really funny, I'm going to go like this. But it is an extra like punctuation on the end of a laugh. It is good. But she started doing it like in public in front of people. Like you're like, oh God, Esther, that's a bad look. But you catch on. It's so stupid. There's something about how ugly it is when I do it. It's so People, people were commenting on the thing. I can't remember what they were saying. They're like, Esther rocks the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> but she got Whitney doing it. It's like she got this like poised, beautiful, rich woman to do that. <laughs> Dave loves it. He thinks that everyone. It like, actually is so funny. It's better than Waffles Rule. <laughs> she, one day she just went, Waffles Rule. And we were like, you're never allowed to talk to us again. She got hung up on. <laughs> blocked i can't believe i got some a cat like a tagline type thing to catch on and i'm just so i'm so happy <laughs> i'm 32 years old and i'm happy 32 years old one foot tall 
This is Esther standing right now on this. <laughs> I'm loud and proud. <laughs> Ugh, Annie, what will become of us? Are we? Is it still the summer? What's what is? Where are we? I don't know what's happening, but I am happy that we're figuring out the testing situation and being able to hang out because that was not good. But I will admit, I loved FaceTiming with you all the time. We still do. And I don't need to really see you in person. I just need the FaceTimes. Oh, no, you're upset. What if I what? What if I start crying? I, I do like the in person, but I now that I have it, I like it. But I wasn't one of those people that was needing to see people. What? I mean, to you, it didn't seem like you needed to see people. We were watching you <laughs> like you were literally like withering away into a pile of tie dye. <laughs> <laughs> Is that tie dye or Esther? I want to I want to approach a question here. Uh oh. Who wow. between the two of us mm. has what some call the power? Who's in control? I say it's me. It's me. me. <laughs> it's me. me. <laughs> it's this is me. me. It's a true power struggle. I don't even need to I don't need to fight. I am the <laughs> true alpha, so you can just believe you're the alpha. It doesn't matter. I could destroy Same. you. I could physically it's destroy you. I could emotionally physical. destroy you. It's not about physical or emotional. It's about spiritual. <laughs> you know I'm the boss of you. Only a beta would say <laughs> spiritual. You, I'm, I'm the, I think I'm the boss of you. Sure, okay. And I, will people comment who they think Guys, is the boss? Guys, who do you think is the boss? And if someone doesn't say Tony Danza, I'm, you've all failed us. Do you think it's the person who's loud and all the flailing around, or do you think it's the quiet one? What do you think one? is the person that's, in, oh, by the way, quiet one? How are you quiet? You're not quiet. All you do is chirp, chirp, complain, <laughs> put a dollar in a fucking jar. What oh. are we doing with their complaint money? There will be zero dollars in complaints. I already told you that if she makes me put a dollar and I'm going to tell her I've pulled her aside and tell her I'm having financial problems. <laughs> You're also complaining about the complaint jar, so it's too late. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe that guy had my friend pay for our date. That's pretty oh, funny. Oh, yeah. Should I invoice him? I should Venmo him. Remember when my man bought you sushi? And I was, I, I couldn't believe it. I, it felt like you thought he had asked you to marry you. I was marry like, him. we're all going to do this. <laughs> we're going to walk down the aisle together. <laughs> it was an expensive sushi place. That was delicious. I will say when someone treats me to something, it is like the highest of the highs. Like it is so nice. I really appreciate. I love gifts. I love. Like, what have our parents done to us? They starved us for any, all love languages were withheld growing up. <laughs> so all of them work for me. I want them all. My love language is jokes. That's why I've dated so many fat guys. What? Like hideous men. Because it's like, they made me laugh. Yesterday, Ugly. Clayton, who is my friend who does my hair. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. It looks like Christina. He came over and he took his shirt off. And I was like, you look so hot. And he's like, well, now I know I look fat because you're attracted to fat men. Was he right? No, I don't think so. But I mean, he must be. But I didn't I didn't think I just thought he looked hot. I don't know. Does he have nipple rings? No. What? He's cool. I thought maybe he'd have nipple rings. Do you have nipple rings? Not anymore, but my holes are still there. Don't say my holes ever again. My holes. Why do you want me to call them your holes? Because you're my <laughs> alpha leader. <laughs> Sorry, Esther's holes Stop. and my nipples. Don't say that. <laughs> my nipples, her holes. <laughs> I'm so done with you. Well, what else, Annie? It's your show. No segments. I guess we're just free balling. Everybody likes it. <laughs> nobody wants segments. Literally nobody wants segments. <gasps> well, we got nothing. Did in... you cut stuff out of our episode? A couple things, what yeah. What was it? I'm not going to say. Sam. <laughs> no. We'll bleep them. <laughs> yeah, right, you liar. By the way, I can only wink one eye. You do. I can't even do that with this one. This like these muscles don't work in the side of my face. This is the conversation you get when there's no segments. I mean, <laughs> winking an eye. Wait, no, hold on. How about this? How about this? Hey guys, welcome to the segment. How does my head feel? <laughs> now I'm having an awareness around my head. There's a jaw feeling, and 
And then it a half gives hour later, the listener, the full body scan, <laughs> a time to sleep, <laughs> time to take a nap, a rest from their busy day. <laughs> They've been so tired of laughing. They've been online laughing all day. <laughs> a break. <laughs> It gives them a chill. Oh, I got tangled. Wow. Sorry. It, Sabotaging. It gives them a chance. We're, yeah, we're not centered anymore. Oh, no. I'm in another Penis Williams outfit, by the way. You really are. Uh. Ew. Well, who leans into the mic for that? Oh, my God. Ew. It burned. I don't like that smell. It burned my nose. What is it? It smells like ice cream cake. Ew. <laughs> It doesn't come back up smelling like ice cream cake. You know that? It smells like the bile it turned into. Anyways. I thought we were going to get ice cream before this and Esther had already gotten it. <laughs> she already got it. How long have we been going? Oh, no. That's a bad sign. No, it's not a bad sign. I just wasn't sure if it's time for a Q&A. 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Should we we have going to have a lot of questions here. Let's do Q&A. A lot. So questions. You know what Q and A is? Cute and a segment you fucking. Ass. Yeah, but I don't need to say. Oh my god, look what came up. Me abusing you. People worry is that about your you. Story. Yeah. So many views. Do yours not have as many? No, they do. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm catching up with you, bitch. This is so now on your podcast. We're just looking at your Insta story. This is good. You guys missed it. <laughs> I hope you didn't miss it. <laughs> okay, what's the questions? Hold on, I'm coming to them. By the way, look who viewed your stole your stories. I know what a loser. Ah! Now that's mean, but it is fun. We have some mutual loser friends, by the way. Oh no. You know every single person we know is gonna think it's them. It's not. It's the not the person you. who it is is not watching this. Yeah, I promise. That's true. All right. It's time to look at questions. No, you don't sing my segments. <laughs> <laughs> you thinking you're helping is the funniest thing I've ever seen. By the way, if you have a question you want answered on the show, comment it below. And the next time I'm here, which will be tomorrow. As soon as possible. <laughs> All right. What Muppet would you be? Is Esther Beaker. What? If you could be a Muppet, what Muppet would you be? I don't know the Muppets well enough, but I think Miss Piggy because she was like, you know, hot, hot and liked nice things. Kermit liked her. So, so I would be Piggy and you would be Kermit? No, fuckhead. What nice thing do you like? I like Skims by Kim Kardashian is nice. I'm Miss Piggy. Oh, we're... We really are Bert and Ernie. <laughs> we are, are. No, were those two old guys in the who do the critic, the film oh, critic? Yeah, they like mystery science theater. It. So that question was actually by from Benton. I and love Benton. It. I'm glad that we didn't trash the question and then realize it was our friend that asked us. Ben Ray, follow him. He's so funny. So funny. Okay. Scary questions. Can I see how soft your earlobes are? Now you'll never know that. What is that? Why would someone want to know that? Because they're scary people. And if you want, if you do find that out, it's going to be because my corpse is cold. Oh, my God. Well, our earlobes are currently very sore. How is, by the way, we got pierced about oh, five yeah. days ago. How is, how is your ear? Mine are feeling a lot better. And actually, the cartilage doesn't hurt that much. We got this. What's his name? What's his name on Instagram? Body Electric is the uh, name of his company and his account. It's... Um, and he came to Whitney's house and gave us all ear piercings. And I got, I now have five holes on this side, five ear holes, including my main one. I have five ear holes too, including my main one. I also have three. Is your main anal, one? Anal, vaginal. <laughs> the main hole is the, the vagina hole. <laughs> it, my clit's pierced. That's what she's saying. I mean, honestly, I was thinking how funny. I was almost got my eyebrow pierced. Just for the joke of it. I want to get a face. I think face piercings are legit cute. Does anyone else think that? Like, I think a little dot, a tiny diamond here. You're so desperate for the algorithm that you ask questions to your <laughs> people so much. Do you it's understand that I actually read them and it's like conversations for me? I like knowing what people think. Once you ask questions and get them, get answers, you'll see it. You'll get addicted to it, too. You fucking I try to Miss read Piggy. less comments. You're, I respond to them. Though. You're Mr. Piggy. 
Oh my god, that's actually the nicest thing you ever said. Mr. I'd Miss- love to be Mr. P- Mr. And Mrs. Peggy. Oh. Uh, all right. Um, what bonds you two together for life? That's a good question. I think one having gone through a th- like an almost three year long falling out and coming out of that, and you know, are we out of it? <laughs> I think that I also think our career choice and some of our experiences together have been really fun. And also I've seen Annie at such lows and she's seen me through such lows. She's talking about my underwear last night in the sauna (laughs) (laughs) that I feel like she just has genuine care for me and I have it for her. So I just don't see that really getting messed up. Like I said, I really can't stress to you enough. Like we have gone through a falling out. And we know what that's like to not like each other and to talk be, shit. Be like we jealous. thank God we didn't talk shit like bad. Yeah, it was, we talked shit to like the same person. I think I was I was just like I don't like her. You know I don't. And what if I had my it would reason. be like a you know when you get like in a fight with someone that you used to be friends with, you have all that like passion from the friendship, and then it turns into like the anger, and then when their name comes up, you're like. Ugh, yeah, you really like do have passion, it, and it's shitty. But I'm actually so grateful for the falling out because I think. You have to remember when we have to remember when we first met, we were so fast and so hard and that was so unsustainable. Like you and I were like spending all day, every day together for, I want to say a full month. It was fast. And then. Was our falling out only after a month? I don't, maybe I have not. not. It's really blurry. I it really don't blurry. remember any of it. I, no, not a month, but I think around, I think there was a, cause I was in a, in the relationship that I was in, I was kind of like we were in a break slash ultimatum mode. <laughs> Has there's only been an ultimatum mode? By and the way. so Annie was kind of like taking the position of of the man in my life. <laughs> and believe it she or not, she also had a grown nanny, like a grown up nanny taking care of her. At the time, I was living with a, a nanny. Sort she of. was being cooked for and like her laundry was being done in a studio. She apartment. was living in, in a studio apartment with a grown woman. By the way, who fucking wanted to move in with us? This crazy man. I feel like you wanted me to move there, but I don't That's know. That's the argument we will but have. I don't remember. Honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll take your side for it. This is but very gassy. We did almost start a podcast together eight years ago. Which probably would be very successful. Right that now. I will admit would, but we'd, we'd probably hate each other and it would be successful. Yeah. We have to keep doing it. We'd be trapped with each other. Ugh, at least um, we'd be rich though. We'd be so rich, but that's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Whitney's up to something. <laughs> Whitney's Chris <Kris> Jenner. <laughs> it's wild. Anyway, um, our sex tapes will be released immediately. <laughs> um, so, but I think what bonds us is that we're, we like be making fun of each other and we know how to like make fun of each other that makes each other laugh. Yeah. And we have a lot of the similar pains. Smell. No, I don't care about smell. No, but also like we are very good at the minute someone's gone too far. We just say it really fast. That's actually a valuable, um, a valuable quality in a friendship of like Annie can pull me aside and I can pull her aside and be like, hey, that wasn't funny to me. Like that hurt my feelings. I don't want you to say that. And then we're like, got it. You know, I never meant to hurt your feelings. I know you didn't. Great. Won't do that joke anymore. If you're about to touch my fucking eye with your dirty, dirty salmon, fingers. salmon garlic fingers that have not been washed. What? I needed to cut. It was too sensitive. I didn't like how sensitive you were being. Oh, I need I, to bully you. So someone said, why do you bully Esther so much? And why doesn't she stand up for herself? I Because she's too feet tall and she's nothing. Because she's nothing. <laughs> Look at you. You're nothing. I do stand up for myself. I thought I, I, the problem is I like being bullied a little bit by someone who I know genuinely has caring feelings for me. I, they're so funny when people are like, you're hurting. I'm like, I'm not hurting her. No, if things. someone is hurting me, I'm not she there. Not, I'm, Esther is like more annoying than anyone else <laughs> with everything. If someone is hurting Esther's me, Esther's boundaries are the most annoying boundaries. Honestly, she's so irritating. Esther, like, the honestly, the quarantine has changed you. How so? You are willing to, like, do things. Because there's nothing to do. Once you got that test, when she gets the test, Esther knows how to hang. When I get a COVID test, I'm like, I'm going to make the most of this. We're going to do podcasts. We're going to see each other. Because I'm, 
I don't know. It's it's a good restriction to have where we can only really hang out at in the first few days after the COVID test. All right. Um, do you guys wax or well, listen, you already know the answer. Um, when is Alone Together coming back? Wow. Alone Together was canceled about 10 years ago. Tw- and it was in sepia. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Alone Together does have two seasons on Hulu. So it's not going to come back. Sorry, but guys. it's not going to go away. How's that? Cut to it gets taken off. Of Cut Hulu. to like TV stops. Like, Hulu's done. <laughs> um, has Whitney kid- kidnapped you and Esther? Blink if you need help. No, Whitney do is not, not. Do not try to save us. <laughs> we don't want to be saved. If we can you imagine us getting rescued from Whitney's house? How upsetting that would be! Isn't that a, fra- a saying? Not all hookers want to be saved. <laughs> Let us listen. We are there. Whitney's our pimp. Um, how often do you eat Taco Bell? I have had it like, not joking. I've had it like six times this past week. Tell, talk about when you brought Taco Bell to that party. I was shocked. I. This is the big thing. Whitney is like, you're gross. You eat Taco Bell. We're back. Todd fucked up. Todd, do you want to apologize to the audience? <laughs> Sorry. Why is he coughing? Because he swallowed his own spit. He's lying. He doesn't. He smokes weed all day, too. He's a drug addict. <laughs> all right. I quit smoking weed three days ago, and I'm like, wow, that's nasty how much you smoke. He also vapes. If you quit something three days ago, you don't really get to say you quit yet. In my if you've opinion. never even started anything, you don't get to be snotty about anything, bitch. <laughs> Esther's never been drunk or anything. That's correct. Has anyone tried to, like, slip you things? I don't mean in, like, a rapey way, like, friends trying to. No. Why would they? Can't wait for that to kick in. <laughs> Imagine. I think Burke Kreischer or Ari Shaviria. That is like illegal. It's if totally someone illegal. did that to me, I would they I would press charges. Well, I'm your lawyer, so good <laughs> luck. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Sir, do you mind leaving? My client is unhappy. Sir. Um, all right. So we were talking about Taco Bell, but we can move on from that. Um do you consider Esther a close friend of yours? Mm. Proximity, yes. <laughs> Emotionally, no. Liar. No, Esther's one of my best friends. I honestly love you so much. I was texting with her today and just like she was on her way over and I was like, I'm so excited to come. Why am I so excited? I FaceTime with you all day or I'm with you at Whitney's house. It is weird for me. Some mornings I wake up and then it becomes like 10 a.m. And I'm like, I haven't heard from Annie yet. <laughs> no, I went to bed the other day early. I took an edible. And Esther had like, I mean, there was like, I could hear fire alarms. I'm like, what's going on? Just sent a fire truck. <laughs> she can't handle it. Did you guys meet performing stand up or in real life outside the of the comedy world? We met doing stand up. We met at the comedy store. She was standing in the hallway and I went up to her and I pulled her shirt down. <laughs> she pulled my did out. You literally me too me. I know. <laughs> Esther's a groomer, the grim groomer. I was like, I've heard about you, and I pulled her clothes we off. We had the same manager. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, are you little Esther? Or she's the tiniest person I've ever seen. Because you had done some sort of like man on the street thing. Did you go to Comic Con or something? No, you did but something. I had like very early, like like my first year of comedy, I had a man on the street video where I dressed in a schoolgirl outfit, but I was, tw- I was 21. Isn't that crazy what we did? I know. And I would ask strangers what sex. And it was actually, I have to say, a really funny video. I have a Sam man on Tripoli the street. Sam Tripoli produced it. It was really funny. And I shot it with Sam Tripoli and his editor. And it, it was it turned out really, really good. I uh, I have a man on the street where I went around and asked people what music they listened to when they had sex. Isn't that funny? What did they say? They. Um, Who, I don't listen to music during that time. You're too busy, what? S- snoring? Texting. <laughs> I'm too busy texting yeah, my can. neighbors to shut up. She has up. trouble Instagramming. It's hard to Instagram when there's music on. It's hard to concentrate. Um, yeah, no, I feel like, when did we talk about that? Which episode did we talk about that already? About what? Our first meeting. If you guys go to the original Mean Inspiration yeah. with Esther, and it was like the second or third episode of Mean Inspiration when I was still doing it at All Things Comedy. We talked about so many hilarious stories, and you should definitely watch those. Um, not that I have any problem repeating stories. How did you guys meet Olivia Munn? Uh, because 
We first, Whitney. yeah, we first met Olivia at Whitney's house, and then we second met her there, third met her there, and boy, <laughs> her. she just does fit right in with us. She's so funny, very easily. She's absolutely hilarious, and she's a good person. Um, and they said, "LOL." Also, why do you always cover your waistline? Well, we're next to Olivia Munn. Whitney and Olivia Munn are in such good shape. I'm not in good shape. I'm soft. And I don't like showing my stomach, okay? I like to show my face. We actually would love it if you would start covering that. That's the next question. When does Ezra start covering her face? <laughs> They're so hairy. I grew my leg hair out for you. I like resting my arm on your ankle. Esther, I there's about two times a day where I'm, I think <laughs> Esther is genuinely coming out to me. No comment. We would make a good couple. What no do you think comment. our kid would look like? How, how would we? Oh, you have sperm. Yeah, we would have a cute I'm kid. I'm the one with sperm. <laughs> okay. We actually need an egg. We just have both we sperm. We actually would need one lipstick lesbian in this crew. <laughs> we can't both be the boy. It's two guys. I, We're a gay couple. <laughs> We're a male gay couple. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? Todd, how are you doing? Good. Okay. Todd's good. Todd gets sad. He seems, I think he's sick. How many times has Esther eaten your. What? Hoo-ha, tell them the truth. Annie and I have never had a sexual interaction. And not because Esther hasn't tried. <laughs> not for lack of Esther trying. <laughs> um, ever busted a nut in a chicken noodle soup to make it more salty? Uh why are you reading that out loud? <laughs> Do you think every man is trash? No. I'm not a man hater. I'm a certain I am a man hater, but haters. no. Are you a letter man hater? <laughs> I no. like men. I'm not a man hater. I, I mean, I I hate all people equally. Like, I know everyone says that, but it's true. Sorry, someone said, are you going to make Esther flinch again because I die a little laughing? I feel very, like, comforted by you right now, so I'm not flinching. I love lunging at you is my favorite thing. Have you two hooked up? We've covered that. Not yet. Um, so much dead air do y'all i mean yours is all dead air it's so <laughs> weird you would be humming and doing your fake body scan right now uh, do y'all bleach your booty holes together while holding hands but with your feet and that is worth reading out loud what are you dressing your little boy for as hollow for halloween what do you oh tell everyone about your halloween plans okay so i really like a halloween gathering that's spooky but not scary and that is a small group, but not too small, but not too big, where other side conversations, I want it to just be one big conversation. So I would love to have like six to nine people at Whitney's house and do like a seance or like a like a haunted, scary story vibe or but ultimately the goal would be to do a murder mystery. Oh, I thought you were going to say to get everyone naked. <laughs> By the way, it's already happened. A murder mystery dinner where everyone plays a role and one person's the killer and one person has to be killed. I'm the killer. You're dead. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Um, how does Esther, how does it make Esther feel when her friends bully her constantly? Loved. Yeah. She doesn't need your protecting. I protect her. It's because you're arms around me I, it's like i know it's loving it's just like a hug you're just like hoping it's finally gonna happen the big kiss <laughs> if you could leave california where would you go by the way we can leave california where would you go we know the answer but tell the audience. i would go to chicago and to chicago or my parents basement <laughs> where would you go i would go i would like to see my parents but i don't want to live there Hmm. I would go. I don't know. I like being here. I just want to be here when it's not burning. The burning uh, is bad. An issue. It's really bad. It's so. I honestly was thought I was convinced I was like sick the other day because I was like I can't breathe. 
the, and then I realized I smoke weed in the fucking fires, dude. It's not great. You really need fresh air in your life to it's, function. And especially when you can't be inside with people, you have to be outside with people. So you're like trapped. You can't do fucking anything. I mean, it's just too much. Um, A, what is your weirdest stoner munchy snack? You don't even need to know about stoners. Just what's your weirdest things? And have you tried Chips Ahoy cereal? What's your favorite snack? Okay, so I really love barbecue chips. Barbecue chips, I feel mm. like, I'll always do it for me. I don't like... That is so trashy of you. I love that. I hate plain chips. I like salt and vinegar, but barbecue chips, you get the sweet and the salty. It, it's so good. A little smokiness. Um, I think that would be like my favorite pantry snack. And then fries i can go i don't like that you're segmenting this question go hard like we're doing the pantry segment now we're gonna do the fast food I segment. i go fast and hard on fries it's a little dangerous what's your favorite munchie snack i enjoy todd what do i enjoy popcorn oh I popcorn's love popcorn. my number one snack movie theater popcorn movie theater popcorn's my number one favorite food with butter. I don't like when people bring kettle corn in my fucking face. I hate kettle corn. Because you're fucking with a thing that's perfect. There's no need. You're fucking with a thing that's perfect. Have ha- popcorn and then have your chocolate bar. And don't Twix. be the one of those people that puts your like your milk duds in your popcorn. I don't no, like that like one for attention. fucking bit. It is. Stop being problematic. Stop. You should have been a juvenile delinquent in high school. It's you not You should have just like ha- taken up a hobby or something. You're pathetic. Honestly, fuck you. Fuck you. And on that note, <laughs> comment below your favorite munchie snack. <laughs> By the way, last time when you asked people to uh, write that they didn't write anything. I don't believe you. They didn't answer the question. But because we didn't really have one. Well, you know what question I like to ask is what do you guys think the clip should be that I put on social media? Because you're too lazy to figure it out yourself. Well, I want them to feel included. <laughs> She's justifying. No, well, I rewatch it. No, it is getting late. Who does Whitney like better? I think you. No. I really annoy her. You don't. You. I think you thinking you annoy her annoys her. Yeah. So I annoy her. So you're pretty much the most annoying person on earth. <laughs> um, Favorite drug? Laughter. What's the sugar. funniest thing you've ever done? My comedy special. Hot for That really name. was good. Watch her comedy special. It's fucking great. On cc.com for free. Produced we have a lot of funny Adam things. Tyler. We're going to listen. We're going to do this again. Okay. We're going to do this again. I'm going to go. She's not going to let me leave, but I am leaving. Well, I'll just stay and finish. She's going to leave and then I'll do more Q&A for the Patreon. Okay. So stick around if you're Patreon. If not, bye. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. We love you. Thanks for watching. Wait, Esther's do we have anime. to plug stuff? What are we plugging? Watch... Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this Watch channel. Watch Annie on Esther Club. She was just on this week and it was a really funny short We've episode. We've already mentioned both of those. And <laughs> watch the episode of Mean Inspiration with all of them that we've done. Also, I have the Comedy Store documentaries coming out October 4th. Yay. It's so good. I'm so honored to be a part of it. We both have merch. Mine is at oh. sleepoverbyester.com and Annie has her funny The masks mask. are coming in. People are starting to get them. The eat out masks. You can find those. The link is on my Patreon. I mean, my um, Instagram. But the masks are taking a second to get to people. So just be patient. You're fine. It's oh, the mail. All right. We'll see you guys next week.